Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, let's look at how to find out the derivative of cosecant x. So by this time you should be very comfortable in doing this. So I wish you can do it on your own, but if you want to refer, you can have a look at this. So what is our f of x? Our f of x is f of x is cosecant x and f of x plus h is cosecant x cosecant of x plus h. Now we apply the formula. We will say f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0. f of x plus h that is cosecant of x plus h minus cosecant x divided by h. Now, I will write cosecant as 1 by sin. As I said earlier, converting into sin into cos is always comfortable because we have lot of formulas to leverage. So, that makes it 1 by sin x. And I have h here and h tends to 0 limit of this, which is nothing but equal to, I will say limit of h tends to 0. I have sin of x minus sin of x plus h divided by numerator is sin of x minus sin of x plus h. In the denominator I will have h into sin x into sin of x plus h. Now this is in the form of sin c minus sin d sin of c minus sin of d is equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 multiplied with sin of c minus d by 2. I can leverage that formula. So, I can write it as sin of c minus sin of d. So, that will be 2 into cos c plus d by 2 that is x plus x plus h by 2 multiply that with sin of x minus x minus h by 2 because c minus d by 2 divided by I have limit of this let me don't forget that I have h here I have sin x here and I have sin of x plus h if you simplify, I have x and x cancel. I will get sin of minus h by 2. So let me write them as individual limits now. That is limit of h tends to 0. I have cos of x plus h by 2 divided by sin of x multiplied with limit of h tends to 0 sin of minus h by 2 divided by h by 2. This 2 I am trying to bring it down. 2 by h I can write it as 1 by h by 2. So that's what we are trying to do now so that we can make this as 1. So this is equal to equal to minus 1 because sin of minus h by 2 is minus sin h by 2. So our next step will be equal to minus of if I substitute h equal to 0 I have minus of cos x by sin x we have forgotten something else here that is sin of x plus h so if you substitute h equal to 0 you will get one more sin x that is minus of cosecant x multiplied by cot x. So that's how we can find out the derivative of all the trigonometric functions from the first principles. So let's look into inverse functions in the next sessions. After that we will look into hyperbolic functions. Once we are done with all the fundamentals how to find out the derivative of all those functions then we can do examples starting from simple examples to intermediate level to complicated a little bit complex examples. 
related to finding the derivatives using trigonometric functions, algebraic functions, chain rule, everything together, combined together. So I will catch you in the next session. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.